Hello, Wisdom Seekers, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, you'll learn your tarot energy for the week ahead and discover a gemstone that can support you with that situation. This is an exercise in strengthening your intuition and learning how to use gemstones to support your everyday life challenges. It will also help you learn how to receive the tarot's guidance and use it to navigate life situations. For those new to the channel, welcome. I'm Shannon Marie. I'm a published author, certified gemologist, and a Reiki teacher. These videos are designed to help you learn more about gemstones and how to use them to improve the quality of your daily life. For those who haven't experienced one of these readings, gaze at the picture of the cards. Choose card A, B, or C. Then pause the video and comment your choice below. Allow your intuition to be your guide. See which card draws your eyes or attention. Then, when you comment with your card selection, you are accepting the message from your intuition and developing a stronger connection and trust in your own inner wisdom. Then, resume the video. You can use the links in the description box below to go straight to your card choice. I will describe the message of each card and provide a gemstone to support you with the energy of that card. Allow yourself to accept what resonates for you and release what doesn't. And just a note from past readings, these gemstones are chosen very intentionally. Each gemstone is unique, even though qualities may be similar to others. If you don't have this stone, rather than ask for a substitute, I advise that if you really feel called to this reading and stone, it's an opportunity to purchase it and add it to your crystal collection. The deck I'm using today is the Universal Weight Tarot. At this time, take several moments, several deep breaths, and select your card. If you chose card A, your card of the week is the sun. The theme of this card is ultimate positivity. This is a card of joy and optimism. It indicates success, celebration, and enjoying the moment. This is an incredibly positive and uplifting card. It could indicate that you have finally exited the dark night and can now enjoy the brightness and warmth of the sun. If you have been going through a difficult time in your life, this card indicates the storm clouds will lift and the sun will shine again. If you've been in a challenging relationship, a difficult time at work, experiencing a time of anxiety, stress, or depression, or have been feeling oppressed by some situation, it will end and you will feel better. Hang in there. This card also indicates that it's time to let your own light shine to be authentic and to exude your personal power. This card encourages enforcing personal boundaries to stop people pleasing and to recognize how wonderful life will be when you are taking action for your authentic self. It's time to focus on what you need right now to live a healthier and more fulfilling life. This card is about making positive moves in your life. If you've been hesitant to make a change or have been trying to make a decision, this card indicates you should say yes. If you've been pondering a question or a choice, the answer is yes. Without hesitation, this is the right move to make. The sun is positive, warm, and forward moving. This is an uplifting time in your life. And if the energy of this card is arising for you right now, the gemstone that can support you is sunstone. And it is the stone of personal power. It helps you stand tall, shine like the sun, and not let people block your brightness. It boosts confidence, helps you define and implement your personal boundaries, and encourages you to say no when you need to or yes when that opportunity arises. It supports releasing activities that do not support your true self and to take action towards goals that feed your soul. This stone is uplifting and will help you start to enjoy your life again after difficult times have ended. Sunstone will help you say yes to those positive opportunities arising. Sit with Sunstone to determine 
how you can make your life truly your own. If you chose card B, your card of the week is the Queen of Wands. And the theme of this card is to stand tall. This is a card that urges you to let your light shine and to recognize your personal power. This card indicates that you may be making yourself seem smaller to allow others to feel better, more powerful, or more comfortable. You could be downplaying your role in achievements and allowing others to take more credit. Or you hold in your personality at gatherings so that your partner, family, or other people don't feel overshadowed. If people in your life want you to dim your light, don't. Stand tall. Don't shrink to accommodate others. There is enough room for everyone to present their authentic selves. We can all shine without dimming another. The light of one candle can ignite another. Be yourself, own your achievements, and light your life. If others feel uncomfortable with that, that's their problem. If someone insists you act smaller, consider if you need them in your life, especially romantic partners. Enforce your personal boundaries. Do not allow others to bully you into taking on their responsibilities and focus on your own goals. If this message arises for you this week, the gemstone that can support you is honey calcite. This is a gemstone that helps strengthen your personal power, motivation, and determination. This gemstone supports allowing your own light to shine. It increases confidence and self-esteem. Honey Calcite enables you to focus on your goals in cooperation and equality with others, not in submission. It helps you say no when you need to and stand firm in your personal boundaries. Sit with Honey Calcite to see if there are other areas in your life where you need to stop dimming your light. If you chose card C, your card of the week is the Three of Swords, and the theme of this card is separation. This card indicates that you will be losing something in the near future. And this loss may hurt your heart and soul, but it is ultimately to benefit your highest good. There may be something you've been clinging to long past its usefulness in your life. It could be holding you back from progressing or has been causing you harm. It is time to release what needs to leave and know that not only will the pain pass, but you will be headed towards a better life situation. This could be the loss of a partner, friendship, job, a belief, a status, a possession, or an opportunity. Whatever it is, it was not meant to remain in your life. But don't be frightened. This may not be an enormous or catastrophic loss, but it will touch your heart. The Three of Swords lets you know also that you can no longer hide from the truth. You will have to face something difficult that you have been denying, but this situation could be the catalyst for a change that you have been avoiding. The issue may not be clear or obvious right now, but keep your eyes and heart open for this change. When it arises, don't push down your feelings. Let them flow. Cry, write, dance, snuggle somewhere comfortable, but experience the loss so that you can be open and ready for the transformation this will initiate in your life. If the energy of this card is arising for you this week, the gemstone that can support you is Malachite. This is the stone of transformation and it protects you during massive change. It supports your heart as you experience loss and protects you from feeling overwhelmed by emotion. Malachite supports embracing change as you transition to a butterfly. It enables you to release what is coming to a close, say goodbye, and look forward, look towards transformation. So you can use this experience to further your path to your highest good. Sit with Malachite to help support you during times of loss. Thank you so much for sitting with me this week to explore what energy may be arising for you this week and which gemstone can help you. If you've been watching these videos and you enjoy them, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you'll get an email as soon as a new video is released. Thank you so much and I'll talk to you again soon.